Hello YouTubers and welcome to this unboxing and review video of the device you see in front of you, the Solar iBoost. Now this is a little device that allows you to divert any excess energy produced by renewable energy sources such as solar power or wind power to your immersion heater on your tank. So on the box you've got the Solar iBoost, gives you free hot water, shows on the back what's included and how you set it up. Let's see what's included. Installation and operating instructions. So that's a little leaflet about all about how it works and how you operate it or what all the buttons do. In here we've got this little device which is the transmitter. So this attaches to your meter using all these little devices. That clips around the cable. This plugs into the into the transmitter here. And this transmits the signals to this device to tell it when the solar panels or the wind power is exporting more power than it's using. Batteries there for the transmitter. The batteries should last about a year. Some wall fittings, so that's for mounting this thing on the wall near your tank. Then you've got the silent solar eye boost itself. Quite a big unit actually, there's my hand, look at that, that's quite big quite chunky as well. This mounts on the wall, there's a little display, shows you how many kilowatts you've used, that kind of thing. Right then, first things first, this is the electricity meter, and here's the transmitter for the iBoost. This is connected to the cable where the electricity comes into the house, and also the cable where the electricity comes out of the house, so this can detect when electricity is going back to the grid, and it transmits those that data back to the iBoost which is in the airing cupboard. Right then, welcome to my airing cupboard. This is where my hot water cylinder is. And this is where I have the solar eye boost installed. So previously, we just had a switch and the wire from it, which is this one, just went straight to the immersion heater. Now, the switch from the wire, the wire from the switch, sorry, goes into the solar eye boost. And then the wire from the solar eye boost goes to the immersion heater. So what that allows the solar eye boost to do, obviously assuming the switch is turned on, is control the flow of electricity to the immersion heater on the tank. So when the solar panels or wind power are generating more electricity than you're using in the house, it diverts electricity to the immersion heater. So as you can see here, if I just press this, the display will come on. I'm heating by solar at the moment, so it's quite a very grey day today, so there's only a little bit going into the immersion heater. But this means I am currently generating 230 watts more than the house is using. So I've got my dishwasher turned on at the moment, so obviously if that wasn't turned on this would be using a lot more electricity for heating. So this is the immersion heater. It's got rods that go into the hot water cylinder which heat the water, a bit like a kettle. I've set the thermostat quite high so it won't cut out until the, boy until the hot water is really hot. On the solar eye boost itself, you can set settings so that you can heat by electricity whenever you want, but obviously I only want to do it when the solar panels are working. On the display you can see how much has been saved today. So today 3.23 kilowatt hours have been put into the hot water tank. Yesterday 7.24. Last seven days. Last 28 days. And then since I installed it, so I've had it installed for about three weeks now and then there's a the time. So if I, if I hit boost, I won't do it now, but if I hit boost it would boost the uh, immersion heater for one hour using electricity, the full amount, so that could use money, f that could use electricity from the grid. So overall guys, I would very much recommend getting one, one of these systems installed if you've got a renewable energy source at your house. The payments you get for exporting electricity, you get them whether or not you're actually exporting, so they assume that you're going to export 50% of the electricity you produce. So this is the way of using that and still getting paid for it. So I'm getting money to generate electricity, plus I'm using that electricity to heat my hot water. So I'm saving on gas at the same time. Since I've had this installed, I haven't had to use that much gas to heat the hot water. What I do is I set the hot water, I set the gas hot water to come on in the evening time for an hour. So if there's not been that much sun, it gets the hot water in the tank gets boosted by that. Um, it hasn't had to come on that much 
over the last few weeks it's been quite sunny though so please let me know if you have any questions pop them in the comments below and um, hope you found this video really useful and I'll see you in the next video